What's up? What's up? What's up? I ain't even pressed the thing, and the thing just started recording on its own. I guess I didn't say you, I didn't say I was ready. Nope. But anyway, since it already started on its damn own, why not? Let's just go on and get started. Well, I was sitting here uh, looking at uh, Eat With Q video. And you know, like I said, now I know most people, oh, you know, you hating and nothing. And, and I'm even stop trying to uh, explain that. Because what I say is what I say. And I don't give a fuck how many want to think or want to settle in their mind. Oh, you hating, you this and you. First of all, I ain't hating on nobody's shit. <laughs> like I said, and I'm going to say it again. I'm just here to talk about the shit. Hating on it? Hell no. Man, why would I hate on something, another female, or hate on what somebody else is, what somebody else got? I mean, I think it's fucked up that a motherfucker that do that shit is crazy anyway. Why would I hate you because of what you got, who you are, or what you doing? That don't make sense. But even though you got people out here. They hate on people and dislike people just because of what they got and who they are. But I can promise you on God, Wanda Whitley ain't one of them. Do you, boo. But, now, what we here for? Listen. This is my first time ever getting the strip, um, the individual lashes. Um, Because I always usually do the strip lashes. But... Being here, you guys, I'm, I'm being honest with you, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do my makeup. I don't want to do my hair. I guess you don't. Hell, you done moved and uh, you did every damn thing over there in Barbados. You ought to be woke the fuck out. Wrangling and tangling with two big damn uh, uh, <laughs> cop diesel barrels and shit of food. Then you got to move. You moved and went to um, all that. So I guess you is. You still trying to uh, relax from all that shit you done. Girl. So I guess you is to the point where you just want to sit back and relax. But I told y'all that. Didn't I tell y'all before she even explained that about the cats? Everybody was wondering where the cats was. I told y'all. See, y'all can't, can't fuck with me when I tell you when I know when I know some shit, I know some shit. Now, do I always, like I said, I ain't want to sit here and say, oh, I get everything on point every time, every time, because I don't. You understand what I'm saying? Because when it's time for me to eat crow, I ain't got no problem telling y'all, okay, I got to eat crow. And y'all know that. I go back and say, oh, my bad. Oh, you know what I'm saying? This and this and this and that. So, that's where I'm at with that. But, um, yeah. She got to be tired, but I told y'all that's what she done with the cats. You know, I knew she won't. She didn't leave the cats. I mean, she didn't get the cats away or nothing like that. And then uh, I think I even said I don't think she going to trust. She don't know nobody. She really ain't trying to trust them people with her cats. I said if y'all go back in my video and see it, listen, you'll see. But, um, yeah, she left her cats. With her, um, I think she said, I think she said friends or family. I think she said family. She probably left it, but I'm saying, I think if she would have said she'd have left him with her sister, she'd have said sister. So, anyway, but the cats are back over here. Where's she from? Where she moved from over here? That's they back in that area. So we understand you being tired. You should be. And I can do all those things. Y'all know I can. I just don't want to do it, honey. I am truly living in my... You know? My pampering moment. And I truly am basking in this. I thought she was going to say she too living in her best life. So, I mean, and I get it because, hey, what woman don't want to be pampered? 
You know what I'm saying? What woman don't want to be, you know, taken care of or whatever? But, you know, to each his own. Uh, I can get with that. Getting my nails done, my feet, and the facial, and everything. I can dig it. I can definitely dig it. Honey, because mm -mm, that struggle life ain't for me, y'all. <laughs> mm. And I've been there. But I love that. Um. Uh, George, back there watching. Uh -huh. I'm so happy. If you can't tell, so so happy. And that's another thing. That's one reason why I came to make the video. Okay, how many times do we got to hear about you being happy? I mean, and not like I said, I'm not sitting here. I mean, you got other people that's happy. Do you every time married couple that you get on that you go and tune into? Is that all they talking about? No, she ain't like she ain't got no other damn conversation. But she's so happy. She. Who the fuck is she trying to convince? Us, George, or herself? Come on now. How many times do you have to co constantly continue to say that shit? I'm about to sit here and wonder. Now, I know they ain't got no perfect marriage, because you can tell that from the last video that um, they made when they was eating that, um, the one she said, the video almost didn't make it and shit. And it's funny how she quick to sit here. You know she tell lies now. You know she'll tell a lie in a minute. She'll boost something. She good at boosting some shit up to make it more than it is. You know what I'm saying? She one of the ones that quick to put something out there and shade from what it really is. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so uh, how she always try to blow up the fact that George just love her completely the way she is. He don't care. She blow it. Lies. Lies. That little motherfucker is not trying to see her sitting up here looking big as I am. He ain't want that. Hell no. Nah, he tell her quick when she's sitting there eating. You ain't through. You know what I'm saying? So, baby, she gonna have to definitely stay on a diet to be with him. She tell that shit to y'all if she want to. If she don't keep that weight down, George ain't going to stick around. I promise you. So I promise you, she will be on a diet to today as long as she in that marriage with him. Because George done put it down. He might ain't said it to her in so many words, but he can tell, you can tell the way he be like, you ain't going to eat all that even when they were doing eating the fish. He told her, not the fish, but the uh, fufu. She said, yeah, I can eat all of this. And she knows she could have ate that whole thing. But I think because I think he wearing her down with how much she eat. Because you know she could have ate both of them damn bundles of uh, fufu. But because she wanted not to look so bad in front of him like a guttress, she took and, um, you know what I'm saying, she took and had a little bit left, you know, of eating. And it was some shit that he cooked, and the shit looked dry as hell. And she did more picking over it than she did eating in it. I don't know. It like looked like it was a whole lot of damn bones and whatever it was. Of course, you know, she going to say it was the great, it was the bomb, it the best in the world. My husband is a good cook. And, girl, anybody can look at that plate and tell he was all over the plate. Even though African dishes that they eat look like it's all over the place anyway, that one looked, really looked like it was all over the place. Looked like it was from Zimbabwe, Zambia, Nigeria, Ghana, all over the motherfucking place on that plate. So, and she half ass, she half ass ate it. Because she couldn't get to nothing. Everything looked like damn bones. And she couldn't eat it for every, every two seconds. She pulling bones out of her mouth. So I don't know how the fuck you can eat that good when you eating and, uh... You can't eat like you want to because you steady pulling bones out of your mouth. See, that wouldn't be no good eat to me. Not at all. I don't give a fuck how good you are with 
picking bones and shit out of your mouth. That ain't no good eat. You can't eat good like that when you can't get to eat your food. You got to stop every second you put you put something in your mouth before you go to, to, to eat something else. But yeah, he, yeah, don't let her fool you. Don't let her fool y'all now. That nigga ain't with that getting her uh, her ass getting big. She definitely got to stay on a damn diet. Because he, that's the second time I done seen in a video where he told, he kind of sort of told her to watch what she eat. It was that time that she made that stew. And he kept saying he was full. And, but he kept eating. And I'm thinking he was trying to eat to keep her from eating everything up. You know, but she told him, she went, I'm not done. I'm going to finish eating. Like, nigga, you may be done. If you done, then okay. But don't tell me. Don't try to restrict me. But she can forget that. No, no. She already restricted. He already done told you. Uh, be mindful how much you put in your mouth. Because if you blow the fuck up, you can blow the fuck out. <laughs> tell me you ain't telling that shit. You act like you don't. You act like you don't know, motherfucker. Blow up if you want to. Hmm. You ain't trying to lay down. So so happy to be back with my husband. Eating good. This is so fresh, y'all. Chris was just swimming ten minutes ago. Girl, you don't know well, that damn much about that Nigerian food. Because it takes time to cook it. You would swear she said mm. that no more than he do about Nigerian food. Damn. And fresh onions. It's so good. I, I wish y'all were here to share this with me. It's the extra for me. It is so good. Um. And like, I'm so happy. Like, I don't remember the last time I've been in, y'all, my hot sauce. Can somebody send me some Tabasco sauce? I should have brought two. I don't know what I was thinking. Hmm. So um, two. Two. Bitch, you over there. I am happy. Like, bitch, you over there don't know when you gonna go back. Who the fuck just get, especially if it's something that you like. I'm like this. I'm, I ain't even over where I'm limited to shit. And if I go somewhere and I know it's something I like, I get it. I mean, I buy in bulk. Because therefore, I ain't got to worry about keep going back and back. If it's something I know that I indulge in, I pick up about four or five of them shits. So come and sit there. I told you the bitch slow. Because who the fuck just, you going all the way. 10 million miles away and you only pick up you only take one damn bottle of Tabasco sauce with you knowing how you eat it I'd have had me a whole motherfucking case what we're gonna, it won't gonna hurt her it was gonna be in good use I'd have bought a whole motherfucking case with me from where the fuck I came from why you can't do a barrel that's what I don't understand if you did a barrel in Barbados why you can't do it one to Nigeria. Somebody asked her that. Somebody go on her channel and ask her why she don't do a barrel. Yeah. So, so happy. Man, being that. away from my husband, you guys, that long. I don't know about that. It's like one of those things that like you don't realize what you got until it's gone. You might be happy. You know what I mean? Day. George is he do coming off coming late, I'm sure. He in robo he in robot mode. Mode. Honey, all the pain. He say whatever you want. That my husband and I went through. When y'all on the camera. Honey, we together, we don't even think about it. We don't think about none of it. We're just so happy to be with each other. That's what you so say. happy to be with each other. That's what you say. You don't program so, him to say what you say. Because if he was so, so damn happy and ecstatic, then why did you have to run back to Nigeria? Why didn't he leave Nigeria and go over there to Barbados where you done bought this big house for y'all to be establishing? So it seemed like to me, 
your big ass was the one that was uh was ecstatic and happy and overwhelmed and shit because if it was up to him, you still be sitting there in Barbados by your damn self with your cats. So don't keep sitting up here. See, that's what I'm saying. See, she should go move on for this and start talking about some more shit. And stop talking about how happy her and her husband is because it paints a different picture from what the fuck it is. If he was so happy, why the fuck didn't won't he over there in Barbados? He won't trying to make it he won't trying to get over there. Why did you have to leave Barbados after you done went over there and got settled, bought all that food? But you had to go back to Nigeria where he at and make home make Nigeria your home. Which ain't no biggie, because I tell you from the jump, if jump, if it was me, I wouldn't have never left the motherfucker, especially if I was in love with my husband. I wouldn't have never left from Nigeria no way. Because, you know, she ain't got no connection with her family no way, so leaving them and not seeing them for years really ain't no biggie to her. So I don't think she ever been, I only think she was a close, she was that close knit with her family to the point where it was hard for her to leave. Leave them for years on out till she see them again. So that that's probably why it was easy for her to do it. But see, somebody like me, she that'd be kind of hard for me. The uh, if I met a man and I had to move, um, if I had to move out of state or move miles and miles to the point. Where I couldn't see Wiggle. Shit. Baby. Uh, uh, you can't move this way. We ain't getting rid of ain't no damn. Ain't no, we ain't getting rid of ain't no happenings then. So that's why I say she detached from her immediate family anyway. Why it was so easy for her to get up and move and never hardly ever come back. So, yeah, but. It, it just something ain't right about every damn time, every video. On the Fever River Rins and on this Eat With Q, on every channel, she's saying the same shit. So I'm trying to figure out who she's trying to convince, George, her husband, her, or us. I don't know. Because, I mean, you're doing it and you're saying it too damn much. Ain't nobody hating. Ain't nobody mad because you saying you happy. But damn, it get to a point, if, ain't you got something else to talk about? I don't think so. I don't really think they got a lot. I don't even think they have a conversation. I really don't that make any damn sense, cause this is all we get. I wish you would shut the hell up. To take up you guys me. along this journey, really, um, cause she ain't really. And that's got the thing about talk. a journey, like you don't really know what the journey really? holds. You know, you yeah. just have an idea, but we don't really know. Yeah, but the, the, my life is definitely a journey, and life I'm excited journey, to bring you guys a part of it. And you guys can get a deeper look into the journey of myself and my husband over on our Fibberizma channel. We are going to be releasing something really big this week. So make sure you guys go subscribe. Hey, no, uh, excuse me. Man, he gonna get tired of her being that nasty. But I've been here. Um, doing that belt. You watch what I tell you. He gonna get tired of that. And it's cute for a moment. And shit. But he gonna get tired of that. A lot of the reason why he put up what he put up with is because of the money. If that motherfucker that didn't have no money, I promise you he wouldn't be putting up with half the shit he putting up with her. But because she gives he, because she gives him a nice bank account, a nice allowance, he puts up with damn near everything to a certain extent. Now sometimes he'll he'll. He'll be here, try to be the man, but for but for the most part, she that motherfucker at her beck and call, cause she put in the hell. He look at it like this hell. If that's all I got to do, and uh, I get a, a fat ass bank account, she okay. Woo woo. How loud you want me to bark? Woo woo. <laughs> when you want me to crawl? Shit, that's him. All damn day long. Officially for two weeks. Um, and 
I just can't thank you guys enough for all your support. Definitely getting on his nerves now. Your sweet comments, your prayers, or what I'm dealing with, or just anything, you know? So. I don't know why she don't just eat and shut the fuck up sometimes. Just, you ain't got to talk the whole time. Damn, just eat. Um. I think she got a nervous problem. I think I shared it in my other video, but the camera was acting up. Mm. But yes, everybody that wishes us well wishes, thank you. Um, I haven't seen some of you guys defending me in the comment section. Thank you. Um, because there's been like a few comments where you get people that say, oh, it couldn't have been me. I can't. It's my wife. And they actually say my husband here. Everybody you know, say this. It's my wife. And they actually say my husband here in Nigeria. Ain't that stupid? She going to say that, oh, I say my husband, my husband. Well, damn, everybody said that, don't. I mean, hell, be love when she talk about Nate. She don't say Nate. She always say my husband. When I look at the Queen's family, when she talk about her husband, she don't say his name. She say my husband. See, this is what I'm talking about. Extra shit with her. She think because she do it, she the, she the king, she the queen of everything that she doing. Or she the only one, oh, it ain't, it ain't official or excited unless, you know, yeah, this is what I do and all this other shit. Girl, everybody, in them, every motherfucking woman that I know Nine times out of ten, they talk about their damn husband. They don't call them by their name. They say, my husband. My husband. Or if they talking with the kids or some shit like that, they'll say what well, daddy said if they talking to the kids. Go see what daddy say. So what the fuck is you talking about? Like you, oh, like you telling the people something new or something that's just different from girls. I mean, you trying to make it seem like Nigerian women are slow. They all, all women do that when they talk about their husband. Damn. When they are talking about their spouse to someone else, they say my husband or my wife. So I actually got that from being here in Nigeria. See how stupid she is? From my husband who says it. You see what I'm saying? That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. That's how they said over here in Nigeria. Well, bitch, you want you want no motherfucking wife, or uh, over over here in America, over here in uh, in Delaware, you want a wife. I'm pretty damn sure if you'd have brought George over here to Delaware, you'd have still been saying my husband, and he'd have said my wife. That's just how it go. And I'm pretty sure you done heard friends that you got that's married uh, it's just he pointless he, he keep talking about that point there cause she just fucked up for that one she she foul as fuck for that one he says my wife my wife my wife and now I say my husband my husband my husband that's just dumb as hell but it's just it's good like Like I said in my last video, I look at Nigeria in a new lens now. Okay. She know everything about Nigeria. I'm with my husband. I'm here. And like I said, we're just we don't really know what the future holds as of right now. I mean, but as far as I can tell, I can actually enjoy Nigeria oh, and show you guys. He can show up more than George can show up. And he was born and raised there. Show you guys the different things because a lot of people think Nigeria is just, I don't know what people think Nigeria is. I think it's like many different opinions you don't want to of what people, people think Nigeria you. is. Shit. Um, oh, y'all. Y'all would love this fish. I'm not kidding. Y'all would really, really love this fish. It is delicious, y'all. Y'all, we're gonna have this fish at least once a week. I'm serious. 
I have to have this fish once a week. At least. Uh, oh, excuse me. My nails are so pretty, y'all. I hope you can see it. It's airbrushed. Like, oh, I got my nails airbrushed. Uh, there's a guy who does my nails. Um, so yeah, um. Okay, they ain't got shit to talk about. When they said it, oh yeah, um, um, just eat. Mm. Damn, you ain't got to talk. Oh, gosh, y'all. I want to try to try it so bad. Y'all can just come to Nigeria alone just for the fish. Um, but Nigeria, like, I told myself while I'm here, I think Nigeria is a great place. Like, if you're going to be staying here like me, an extended time or something, it's a great place to develop a skill, get some some kind of a skill before you leave. So that's what I've been busy you go, um, I don't want to get bored like I want to stay busy crazy. Yeah. Like, and um there's so much you can do so much you can learn you get, and uh, take back to a place like America take advantage of and make a lot of money you know what so I, I think that's something I'm interested in that's what irks me with her she tried to make it seem like she was the same way when she was in Barbados oh she would have taught you would have thought that she was the Secretary of State over there in Barbados. She was just a total expert on everything in Barbados. Now she done come back to Nigeria. Oh, she know more than George do. And, uh, and he was born and raised there. Oh, Nigeria, you know, you come over here, you can learn. Bitch, you can do that anywhere. You can do it here if you get out there and do it. Opportunity is, uh, is everywhere. It just take you to get out there and put the effort forward. Anywhere you at, anywhere you living. Damn. Yeah, he annoyed with her. That motherfucker annoyed. You can't tell me he ain't annoyed with her. Something. So that's what I want to do while I'm here. I bet you can't believe she ate that whole motherfucking fish. This fish is actually not that that hard to eat with the bones. You do have to be careful. But the bones are pretty much right there, so you can just easily just remove it. But the body is eating, you guys. It's just the head left. I think I'm gonna save that. Baby, you want the head? My honey? Do you want the head? Yeah. Okay. So I ate the body, you guys. The body's gone. And that's good that he can have the head because I didn't put any hot sauce on that part. Um. Mmm. So good. I'm good. I'm not injured or anything. Um. Yes, you guys. I love you all so much. Can you guys see how happy oh, I am? I Lord, am. Don't get, get me on the other side because you guys really do help me get me to the other side. You can't I can't tell me you. this motherfucker that happened. No. You been over there. You done said it. You lit, you talked about it all day, every day when you was in Barbados. Now, every time you do a video now, you talking about it. Something is up with that right there. And we will see it soon to come. You watch what I'm telling you. Come I'm telling you, he, he's annoyed with her now. He's very annoyed with her. 
Because first of all, why you got to call him twice when he's standing right there, right damn next, to, right there in ear length of you. But anyway, y'all have a good, good day. I love y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And I'm out. Let me know what you think below. How low can you go?